everyone! Welcome to the episode 8 of Bridge Us TV. Today we have two guests. I have Giuseppe, originally from Italy. I have Fiona, originally from France. And we will talk about their journey from a working holiday visa to a permanent residency visa. to travel, to discover this beautiful country and to enjoy the, the life here. Um, what about you? Me, uh, after my degree, I've been living in England and then I went back in Italy. And I worked a bit in my environment, in architecture. and. I think at one moment I got the idea to come over in Australia and have this travel, uh, have something new in the life. We started with a working holiday visa, so we, I stayed for one year, then I went in the farm to make 88 days and get uh, an approval for the second working holiday visa. Um, that's how it starts. Uh, for you, was the same. Yeah, same for me. I just, I don't know, one day I, uh, I've been visiting the website for the Australian government mm -hmm. and I applied for a visa. After three hours, I got the answer. <laughs> and then uh, at the moment, at that moment, I didn't know if was fine, be happy or stressed about, but anyway, it was something new coming and uh, the dream of a new playground, new things in the life, you know, gave me a lot of energy. And uh, come here with a working holiday visa for one year. Yeah, yeah. one year normally. Yeah. Uh, the base was this. <laughs> um, until it was during the two first working holiday visa was pretty simple uh, because we were not too much regarding of which job we were doing because it was for casual and for short time. Uh, three months in the farm, uh, one month in a restaurant, two months uh, uh, on a shop in the Gold Coast <laughs> and after that was, uh, yeah, this time was pretty easy, but when we decided to settle in Melbourne, it gets a bit complicated to, for me. But me, uh, find a job was probably the easiest thing. I <laughs> don't know why, maybe I got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> but when I came in Australia, my idea was no, get the opportunity to stay longer. And uh, I had a plan from the beginning. My plan was because the government allowed you to stay another year if you do some job in the, in the farm or maybe in a rural area. Rural area, yeah? yes. Uh, and then my plan no, start, began by working in the farm. Mm. Uh, I've been working in the farm for, uh, for week, four months. Four months. Yeah, four months. Actually, also more, <laughs> because before I've been picking apple or stuff like this. Uh, great experience, great time. Uh, after that, I got this opportunity for a second working holiday visa. Uh, by that, I came over in Melbourne and nothing. Just the day I came, I got the job, started working. Uh, <laughs> true, but I still work for the same company. Uh, it's great. Um, my second working uh, holiday visa expired in November, so we, we decided to stay together and 
So I came over inside his visa. He was at the time a student. Uh, he just applied for, at the beginning, uh, for a student visa. So we stayed like this for about six months. And that was the transition time between the working holiday visa and the sponsor. Yeah, uh, this has been a bit complicated because I had my first working holiday visa and by the time that I spent working in the farm, I had the opportunity to apply for a second working holiday visa. Uh, before the end of my visa, I applied for another visa, uh, which was the working holiday visa in New Zealand. Yes. But at the moment <laughs> that I was close to leave, mm -hmm. uh, I got this um, request by the company where I used to work uh, of the needs to keep me more. And I had no opportunity staying there. Uh, what I did is I had the opportunity to meet a, a lawyer, Joanna, mm -hmm. which uh, gave me the opportunity to stay here longer uh, as a student. I've uh, been studying for uh, six months, I think. And uh, at the end of these studies, we applied for a sponsorship visa. Um, that is the steps. Yes. One after one. Uh, I got also opportunity to study better English, mm -hmm. even if I need correct it a bit, <laughs> maybe more than a bit. Uh, by working with this company, I, I received an uh, opportunity to get sponsored from them and uh, get a 457. Uh, at the end of the two years, I had the opportunity to apply for a PR with the same company and the company were really happy to apply and give me the opportunity to stay longer, uh, keep this uh, working relationship between us. Uh, we got it maybe a uh, month ago. Yeah. Yeah. From one month we are uh, PR mm. and now waiting for the next step. The main difference, okay, uh, everything is pretty much the same. We obtain the PR, but we keep going at work the day after, and we keep uh, going shopping every weekend and meeting our friends. It's pretty much the same life, but in plus, we have the, uh, the peace of mind. Uh, we can stay in Australia, and we don't have any more worries about, or oh, maybe tomorrow they're going to call us and tell us, you cannot stay anymore, you have to go back in France or in Italy. So, yeah, it, the, the permanent residency gives us this peace of mind. And also, we feel much more Australian right now. We can have the Medicare, we can be sick and not being worried. We can uh, uh, have the same rights. Uh, finding a job, it's uh, actually way easier than because we can receive the help of agencies. So, yeah, being PR is being Australian for us. Yes, being PR probably is a big change. Uh, for me, it represents a big change. The change is that from the minding of being in Australia as a tourist, because everything starts as a, no? a tourist, travel. Mm -hmm. uh, then, <laughs> after all the sponsor, uh, the application for PR and everything, probably something has changed. It's changed about the, the feeling for the staying in Australia. Maybe feel more responsible about uh, things around and uh, responsible about what's going to be our tomorrow. Uh, me and Fiona, we met each other here in, uh, during this travel. <laughs> we used to live in St. Gilda. Yeah, in Melbourne. And maybe you can work with us as well. I started uh, in 2012, yes. Yeah. Um, I think this, this travel has begun in a different ways, with a different feeling. 
uh, maybe it's no more a travel, it's an opportunity for us to be some together. Also because Fiona, she's French, me, I am Italian, mm -hmm. and probably this is more our house, instead of saying, I go back home, where is it home? Uh, for sure it's not my home or Fiona's home, because yes. we'll not belong there anymore, <laughs> it's here. Yeah, at one on us. Mm. Um, how about the PR? Yes, the, that uh, gave us a big boost in the, in the way to build something. Uh, and they have more plan and they have more target in their life. That is a great point. Uh, as we say, there are anyway a lot of other steps to reach. Yeah. Uh, we're going to run for it. <laughs> To me, um, living in Australia gives me the opportunity of a freedom. Um, everything is possible and you meet people from every country. So you don't have any uh, apprehension or any, you are not scared about anything because every, everybody is uh, at the same level of you. So, and give you yeah, this, uh, this freedom, the, f the fact that um, you can be who you want to be without any pressure uh, from family or without any bad comment from the friends. Um, whatever you want to do, you do it. That's what I like here. A good point by staying in Australia. I found a lot of good points on it. Um, the main one was change environment for me. I do something new, find something new. <laughs> I found Fiona. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but here in Australia, I had the opportunity to meet wonderful people. People who come from different countries, different background, but everyone with one thing in their mind. Be great, be good, uh, create something, and grow. And this is what makes me happy about. Also, other good points, we can say, the first of all is this meeting I had with Fiona, the opportunity to create something for us, uh, the opportunity we got from the government, uh, thanks uh, Joanna, uh, thanks all our friends, to make it true. Uh, staying in here, yeah. uh, do something, uh, maybe grow something. <laughs> Mm, to me, the biggest bad point is that all our family, uh, brother, sister, parents are all in France and, and in Italy. So we don't have the, ch the chance to meet them as much as we would like. Um, even though the new technology, the, the, everything is easier now than it was in the past, but it's been five years that we came here and after all this time, we are missing a bit of them life, but we are creating our one, so, and everything is going well, but remember that if you come here, uh, you can't bring everybody with you, so. <laughs> of course, the family is true. Um... Maybe missing the, the great moments for the friends, for the family, such as three of my best friends got married and never been there. Or another my friend had a baby and didn't been there. Or, yes, you, we miss a lot of stuff, a lot of things. The festivity, the, the holidays, also the bad moment where probably is a need to be there when some of your dares has a problem. But in the meantime, it's what we are doing here that give us more energy. Uh, these little bad things maybe give us more energy for when we get opportunity to go there and enjoy more maybe. Mm. And get back all the time that we lose or we miss. Mm. Mm? It's true then I don't think so, there are bad points. Maybe there are some boosters. <laughs> <laughs> the, 
be courageous, be patient. <laughs> um, everything can happen if you have the right mind. If you believe that Australia is the country where you want to go and where you want to build your life, your future, then there is everything is possible. There is no stop, there is no limit, just your own, yourself. You need to recreate yourself and be part of this community will make you grow a lot. Tips, <laughs> a lot of tips. <laughs> <laughs> the main one is get a plan. That is, is the base. You cannot come in here and be hopefully that something gonna happen. It's true, it can happen, but it's because you're looking for it. And if I talk about my experience, I say I can say that I came here and my idea was getting straight away the sec the second year visa to stay more. But then my plan maybe was finished till uh, I met Joanna and till I had the opportunity from my company to stay more. But if I had to think about the opportunity come over and with nothing, for sure what is the main thing is have a plan and fix some targets, uh, meet good people. <laughs> that is what can help you a lot. Good people who can give you reasons, uh, can help you understand if your way is the good way, is the right way, and gonna bring you somewhere. A lot of time we have some ideas in the mind for something which can be wrong, yeah. but maybe, you know, at a third view, no? a third person can help you to see better. That's true. Um, yeah, this is probably has happened to us no long ago. <laughs> uh, I think, yeah, these, those are the best tips to, uh, to pass. I hope you enjoyed our discussion today. Um, what can I say? I'm really happy with the story that have unfolded today. Like I, I'm part of it, but it's different when I'm when we're listening about you know it's a summary of your five years here, and I'm very blessed that I'm part of your journey. I can tell you this: the journey is not easy. Remember, we started it; it was really hard, but then we got through it. And what I can see with this couple is that. You know, coming to Australia, it's not for everyone. You have to have the correct mindset. You see, what Giuseppe was telling you about the weather, people hate it, right? <laughs> and Giuseppe's like, oh, I feel young about the weather. That's the mindset that you need when you're going to a different country. All new things should be welcomed. You shouldn't be like, oh, I hate this, I hate that. Back in my country, it's like this. You, you cannot survive with that. And with their story, because Giuseppe has had a plan. He had this mindset that, you know, I'll create something here. I'll have opportunity here. And, you know, seek and you shall find. He's found Fiona. You know, he has that yeah. attitude. So it's really good. And now they're well poised for the future. You know, they're now, as what Fiona said, they're now Aussies. You know, they're permanent residents. They're now, there's no worries of, oh, I might be, you know, I might be, I might come back to France or I might come back to Italy because the government doesn't want me here anymore. That can't happen anymore, right? So maybe what's next? Maybe wedding, maybe family? I don't know. I don't want to <laughs> say their plan, but I guess I'm happy that this two couple, that, that this couple are at peace and they can look forward for their future. And this can happen to you as well. You can be here just on a journey, might just be visiting Australia, just trying it out. But if you do have a plan, stick to it and get the right help. And we can help you with that. Thank you. If you want to check if you're eligible to migrate in Australia, please visit our website, www.bridgeaus.com.au for a free initial assessment.